to you about our camera gear that we use on our travels today. Yeah, we get asked quite often at the end of our posts, hey, what camera did you use? And we don't have a simple one answer at this mm. camera. We use multiple cameras on all of our um, travel adventures. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought it would be good to have this video to show you kind of um, all of our gear and what we go through and how we use it. First one that I use is the Canon 5D Mark III, which is actually recording right now. And it has a Rode mic attached to it, um, which gives it better audio quality. So, you know, because the in camera audio usually isn't that great, the Rode mic is really cheap and, and does a great job of uh, recording audio. Um, but the Canon 5D Mark III I've had for years now. Um, they actually have a newer version, the Mark IV, but I still think the Mark III is great, so you can probably get it at a great price tag right now. Um, and then with that camera, I usually use the 50 millimeter prime lens, which has an f-stop of 1.4. What that means is the lower the f-stop, the prettier the picture you're gonna get because you get more light into the lens. So when you see those pretty pictures with like the blurred bokeh backgrounds, those are the ones that have, you know, a really low f-stop. And if it's still a little bit hard to understand, because I know because I'm like new to light cameras, uh, the new, the new thing about the new iPhones, the camera, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. uh, I have that portrait yeah. on. So this is what it is, like a portrait lens. So it has like a really sharp, you know, foreground of the subject and then a really blurred, pretty background. We also use the 70 to 200. Uh, this is the Tamron lens. Um, you, there's also a Canon version and an Nikon version, but the Tamron is a little bit cheaper. So that's why I got this one, but it shoots really great pictures. This one's my favorite lens. Yeah. It's super heavy, but that's the only thing is like whenever we're traveling, it's like, uh, are we gonna bring the big lens? <laughs> but it's always yes, because it takes amazing photos. Mm -hmm. um, and we kind of have to split up who carries what because that adds on, it's crazy, this adds on so much weight. Yes, it's very, but very it's heavy. But it's very, very worth it. It is worth it. And this one too, it's a zoom lens, so it goes from 70 to 200, <coughs> whereas Whereas the 50 millimeter, you know, it's a fixed prime lens, so you can't zoom in and out, which is great because it kind of gives you um, better practice on how to compose things. It's better to um, move, or you yourself move around as a photographer to get the right framing and um, right, you know, uh, composition. I also wanted a com more compact camera as well. I didn't want to get rid of my Canon, so I was looking into other um, options for it more smaller camera and I came across this Sony a7S II which is really compact and uh, what I really like about this one is that you can interchange lenses so then you have to get um, this adapter it's called uh, Metabones but you get this adapter and you can put any lenses on this Sony camera, which was great because, you know, if I get a Nikon camera, I couldn't use my Canon lenses. So this adapter, I mean, they do have adapters, but this is like much easier to use. So that's another reason why I wanted to get this camera. Um, I really like this camera. It's yeah. easy to use, it's compact. So when we're together shooting, um, I am not as fast as using the manual, so this is great for me because on automatic, it really takes um, awesome photos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they have like a lot of you know different settings. Of course, you can shoot manual and stuff like that, but when you put it on auto, it calculates all the lighting and colors really nicely. Yeah. So when we're like you know a lot of times we're in a pinch and we need to like hurry up and take a picture, so it's great to put it in auto. And that's why Canon uses this one when we're together, and I use the Canon one because the Canon I like to you know use it manually more and um, it's a little bit harder to like hurry up and do it. Whereas the Sony, you know, you can just put it on auto and just snap and shoot. This also has like a pull out screen. And it also has Wi-Fi capability. Yeah. So what that means is that I can grab the photos that I took on the camera onto my phone and therefore we can upload it to Instagram instantly. So, or Facebook. <laughs> or Facebook. Or whatever social media you have. <laughs> so it's great for, you know, bloggers, travel bloggers to just instantly, you know, show yeah. you know, where you're at. As far as video, this one actually shoots 4K video, which is awesome. And it shoots HD video and also in slow-mo. And this also shoots really good in low light, right? Yes, yeah. this is excellent in low light. This is one of the best cameras out there that shoots really great and really low light. I think the ISO goes up into like 100,000, which is like crazy. And right now I'm using the Sony lens. This is a 24 to 70 millimeter with the S-stop of four. 
and it takes really sharp pictures. I'm really happy with it. This is a Canon EOS M3 and it's a mirrorless camera. And what I really like about it is that it's compact. Um, it's a great beginner uh, camera, I think personally, because it's not too expensive, but it's not that cheap to wear. It's like a really average price range, I think, because if you really want to learn, um, but you don't want to spend too much money yet because you're still learning, I think this is a great one. It does have Wi-Fi capability, and the cool thing about this is if you want to do like Ooh. selfie photos, <laughs> Um, you can do that, so you know if you want to do photos like this, it's um, or what I actually use this for is if I'm using a tripod and um, I want to do it on timer, I can at least see what I'm shooting. So that's like how I use this, um, it also like comes out like that. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, and then I can change the lens, which I did, I use more of a compact lens, it's um, 22 millimeters, and the f-stop is 2, so it's actually pretty low, the f-stop. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, it does like a, it does a great job. I really love this camera. Um, until I up my skills a little bit more, I'm gonna keep this. And then once I really boost up my skills, then I'll probably go <laughs> to the Sony. Yeah. So like whenever I'm not, I'm not around, Candy usually uses that yeah. camera. Yeah. So there are several posts where only this camera is being used mm -hmm. when I'm not with Crystal. And it takes really excellent photos. I'm always like, did you take that? <laughs> <laughs> like no. <laughs> skills but you know, I was like what camera did you use? <laughs> yep so, it's all this it's this little camera and but I do use it on manual um, I have been good about that good job so uh, <laughs> yes I am learning <laughs> well, another one we use too is this GoPro this is the newest one GoPro Hero 5 and we do a lot of uh, video on this together when we're you know shooting we use actually this um there it go oh, there it is <laughs> so we have this selfie stick for the GoPro we put it in here and then you can just you know you can put it on wide setting so we can just hold it up here and record ourselves or you know take pictures of ourselves the audio quality on this I'm very impressed with because usually like the built-in audio cam like the built-in um, audio on our DSLR cameras it's not that so great so that's why we use the Rode mic that's attached right now to the camera but on the GoPro you know you don't attach any audio um, extensions on it it's just you know built within and I'm very impressed with how great the audio quality is on this I mean they've really upgraded it um, another great thing is that you know the old GoPros they used to have a housing case to make it waterproof but now you don't even have to have that it, this is this is waterproof which is cool because I feel like that case before was such like a hassle to put yeah, on yeah like, and yeah, I'm always kind of worried too when I put cases on, like, will it really protect it? <laughs> I mean, I was kind of scared with this, like, well, where's the housing case? Is it in the water? <laughs> the one thing that I didn't know, um, because the older GoPros didn't have the touch screen, and the yeah. new ones do, so now you can actually see what it's you're shooting. It's a lot easier to use these. Now. Yeah. And you can use your um, phone app to control your GoPro too, and even like select your pictures, and again, you know, it has its own Wi-Fi, so you can send pictures to yourself. And it takes good um, pictures yeah. during the day, but not so much at night. It's not good for night, yeah. so definitely don't use it at night, because it'll be very, very grainy. But during the daytime, it it's excellent. Awesome photos during the day. Mm -hmm. And as far as video, it also shoots 4K. Um, so, you know, it shoots 4K video, it shoots HD video, and it shoots HD and slow mo. So, really, really handy little thing. And I think, it, you know, the price point is great too. It's, you know, it won't break your bank or anything. Um, for what it can do, it's an awesome little camera. So, now we've switched cameras, and now I'm recording on the Sony A7S II. And this was what it was recording on. This, was, this is the Canon 5D Mark III. Um, as I said, it's a really bulky when Candy uh, compares yeah, like, to her little camera. Yeah, it's I mean, pretty different. Yeah, it's really nice. different. Um, but you know, it's, like I said, it's a great camera, and this is the 50 millimeter lens, the 1.4. Again, you know, it's a fixed lens, so you can't zoom in and out. It's just you know, this ring is for focusing. But there you have it. So this is all the cameras we use when we go on our travels. Yeah, so hopefully this helped you out a little bit, and if you have any questions, just ask us on the bottom where the comments are, and we will reply right away, or yep. as soon as we can. Yep. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>